internet viewers, Holly here. Uh, happy Friday. It's the weekend. Woohoo! Uh, hopefully you're doing something fun this weekend, and if not, that's alright too. You can loom it up with me. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, a bracelet of my design called the Cat's Cradle. It's this bracelet right here. Uh, I know that I have a video on this bracelet already, but I decided to update the video a little bit so that it's not so suckish. Um, this bracelet is very simple to do, great for beginners, great for anyone who, you know, is more advanced. It doesn't matter. This bracelet's easy, it's fun, it's pretty. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So today we're going to be using three different colors. We're going to be using this green and some purple and the blue. That way when um, your bracelet's finished you can really see the X's forming uh, so it kind of looks like a game of cat's cradle instead of just the um, the two color bracelet, you know, one color for the border, one color for the X's, um, because once it's done, it resembles a little of the taffy twist, but it's completely different. Uh, this way, you'll be able to see it a lot better, and it looks a little more pretty. All right, let's get started. Now, you have your loom here. Now, you want to make sure that this bottom middle peg that sticks out further uh, than these two is facing you and not away from you. If it's away from you right now, please turn your loom around because if you put your bands on going backwards, then come time to loop your bands, you're not going to be able to do it because you want to have these little divots in the pins towards you. That way you can grab your band with your tool. All right, so first off, we're going to lay down the border bands and I'm going to be using green. You can use whatever color you want, but for demonstration purposes, we're going to be using the three colors that I have mentioned. Now, starting on this very bottom middle peg, you want to place your band going off to the left side here. Now, take your bands and you're going to go up the entire length of the left hand side, stopping at the second to last peg on the left hand side. So you're going to take your green and go right up that left hand side. Alright, and once you've gotten to the second to last peg, you want to take your band and you want to place it starting on that second to last peg, going to the last middle peg diagonally, just like at the start of our bracelet. Just like so. Now, you're going to push all those bands down, because once we have our border done, we're going to be adding more bands, so you want to have the room on your peg to do so. Okay. Now, starting on that very bottom middle peg here, you're going to want to place a band going off to the right. Now, do the same thing with your green bands going up the right-hand side. Alright, now, once again, once you get to that second to last right hand peg, you want to place your band going to the left on that middle peg. Just like that. Now don't forget to push them down, because you're going to be adding more bands, so you want to have the room on your pegs to do so. Alright, now once we have our border done, you're going to take a green band and you're going to place a cap band on this top middle peg right here. And if you don't know how to do that, what you want to do is you want to take your band, stretch it out, cross it over into a figure eight and fold it upon itself, just like that. Now place that on the peg. Okay, now uh, we're going to go back down to the bottom of the loom and we're going to start our X's. 
Now to do that, it's very easy. I'm going to use purple next. You're going to start on the bottom left hand peg and then you're going to go diagonally to the second right hand peg. So basically you're going to encircle these three pegs with that one rubber band. Just like that. Push it down a bit. Now take your second purple band on the right hand side starting at that bottom peg. You're going to go diagonally to the second left hand peg. So do the same thing but on the right hand side. And see, you can see the little X. Now we're going to do that same technique but with the blue. So starting from the second left hand peg, I'm going to go up to that right hand peg diagonally. So you have three bands, uh, three pegs circled with that one band. Do the same thing, just like that. Now you want to continue to do that all the way up your loom, alternating uh, the two colors that you're using for your X's. So my pattern will go purple, blue, purple, blue, all the way up. Feel free to fast forward through this part if you'd like. It gets a little repetitious and mundane. Just sitting here doing the same pattern all the way up. Now, once you're done placing all of the X bands on your loom, we're ready to start looping your bands. Now, go ahead and turn your loom around so that the notch part of your loom is towards you. Now, we're going to take our hook tool. As I mentioned before, I'm not using my awesome white one anymore because it broke. The hook just snapped right off. So, I have to use this little guy still works, but, you know, I liked my fat white one better. All right, now what we're going to do is we're only going to loop the green border bands. Do not touch the purple or the blue bands or you'll mess up your bracelet. So take your hook tool, go inside the bottom uh, middle peg, pulling back on the cap bands that you, the cap band that you placed, grab the top green band and loop it off to the left. Now if you did it correctly, you'll notice that it makes a little teardrop shape when folded upon itself. So go back into that middle peg and do the... Oh my... Anyway, bring that one off to the right. My house is haunted, so random noises and things fall in random places. It's bizarre. Anyway. Continuing on with our bracelet, and you're going to go to the left-hand side into the, the second peg there, grabbing the bottom green band. Carefully remove it from its peg and place that going forward. Just like that. Do the same thing up the left-hand side, only looping the green bands.
Now, once you've gotten to the top, loop that diagonal band just like you would any of the other bands, but to the middle. All right. Now, go back down to the bottom and start the same looping process all the way up the right hand side. Remember, only grabbing the green bands as you go. Alrighty. Now once you loop your final uh, right side band to the middle, we're almost ready to remove it from our loom. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tool, place it down into the middle of that peg and off to the side. Take a green border band, place it on your hook tool, and carefully guide it up through the middle of the peg. See, now this is why I liked my white one better. It cooperated. <laughs> there we go. Alright, now once you have your band up through all of the other ones, place the other side on your tool. Now you're ready to carefully remove your bracelet from your loom. Stretch it out a little bit. It's going to need to be adjusted from all the pulling when you remove it. And there you have it. There is your completed Cat's Cradle bracelet. Now obviously this is a little small to go around your wrist comfortably, so we will need to add an extension. And I will quickly show you how to do that. Now take your loom. Turn it around so that one furthest down peg is facing towards you. Now I'm going to place seven bands on my loom going forward, just like if I was about to make a single chain uh, bracelet. Now I only need seven because my wrists are rather small. So use um, as many bands as you need for it to comfortably fit around your wrist. Now, once you have all of your bands placed, you're going to carefully remove this band from your tool. I like to place it upon my finger so that it's less likely to slip off. Now you're going to place your, uh, this band on this peg where you ended your extension. All right. Now I'm going to take the loom and turn it around again. And I'm going to loop these bands together just like we did for our border bands. Just loop them forward. And once you have all of your looping done, you're all set to add on your clip. 
whatever clips that you may have, C clips or S clips. Um, I do have S clips. And just add them just like that. And once you have your clip attached, you can take your extension off of the loom, attach it to the other side. And there you have your completed Cat's Cradle bracelet. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. Um, I hope you like the bracelet. As I said, it's a very simple, easy design to do. And I will be making more videos for you. Well, everyone have a great weekend, and we'll see everyone later. Bye!